Hi there, Pete here from Radio.co. Today we're going to look at the track editor, what it is, what you can do with it, and how it will help your station. So first of all, what is a track editor and why should you use it? So the track editor lets you edit your tracks and do multiple things which we'll cover in a second with all the songs or IDs or jingles on your system. So you should use a track editor because it gives you a more professional look to your radio station. For example, we can add images, we can add names and we can add albums. We'll cover how to do that now. So to use the track editor, you want to go to your media area on your dashboard and then you want to pick a track which you want to edit. For this one, I'm going to pick this track here. You hit the little three dots at the end of the track and then you choose track editor. So when you're in the track, you can see multiple things. You can see the queue time, the fade in time, the queue out and the fade out. We'll get to those in a second. But up the top, you can see the artwork, the name, the artist and the album. If we were to change any of these, we can simply click it. So you can click the name, the artist and the album. I'm going to add the album in here. Just going to add Pete, for example. It's not my album. But the reason we do that is so when we use an album separation, which has a guide on, the system knows all these tracks are from one album, so not to play them. But of course, you can leave it empty. So if we wanted to change the artwork on the track, we can easily do that. We just hit the little camera icon and then we can choose none, which will just show the music icon. We can show default, which will show the image which came with the track embedded in the track, for example, or which our system automatically obtained. Or we can show custom. Hitting custom will you allow you to browse to an icon, for example, this one, click open and then it will upload. You can then hit save here to save those changes we've made. Of course, if we do want to go and edit the queue in and queue out point, we can easily do that. So currently you can see the queue out point is set to 318. I want that a little bit earlier. So when the chat ends, the next item comes in quicker to avoid dead air. So to do this, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, drag, drag this along here so I can see more detail. As you can see, there's a couple of seconds of dead air there. So of course you can click in here and change it manually. Or the way I do it is simply click on the bar and drag it forward like that. So I'm thinking I want the queue out to be around here. You can see that's two seconds earlier than it was previously. That means when the track fades to that point, it will play the next item. As you can see, the fade out duration is set to one and a half seconds. That means it'll be a nice slow fade out. If I wanted that to be a bit more of a hard direct hit, I would simply click the bottom line and make this more of a straight line. I could also type in here and clear the numbers and just type 000. That means it'll be a solid once it gets to that point, it will play the next item and not fade out. I would, however, recommend having a nice fade out because it'll be nicer for your listeners. At the start of the track, it is very similar. You can see the queue in, which is zero. That means the track's going to start at zero. And we got a nice slow fade in, which will really help just make your station sound a little bit better. So that is the track editor and why you should use it. As you can see, the track editor really lets you get down to that granular detail and really gives your station that professional sound, which we all want. Of course, if you do need any help on this, please feel free to get in touch, help at radio.co. But until next time, take care and happy broadcasting. Hey, I'm James, founder of radio.co. Before you go anywhere, I've got an interesting question for you. Do you know the difference between a radio station that launches and becomes very successful, gets lots of listeners and does very well, and a radio station that perhaps kind of doesn't launch very well and disappears within a few months, doesn't really get much attention. Well, I've put together a checklist which will illustrate to you in a very simple way the five key differences between radio stations that launch and do well versus radio stations that launch and kind of disappear. You can download your free copy over at radio.co slash checklist today. Find out exactly how you can make the most out of your radio station. That's radio.co slash checklist. Go and grab your free copy. I'll see you there.